All right, students, what we're gonna to do today is a couple of things for our measurements. Um, we are going to find half of a measurement. We are also going to add and subtract fractions. So in your notebooks, you're going to want to actually place that uh, underneath a category, a subheading for both of those. Okay. So to start out today, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, and find half of a measurement. Now, where could this become handy? Um, well, for instance, let's say we had a product, and that product had a certain size. And let's say that size was 7 eighths of an inch and you wanted to actually cut that product in half so you had two equal parts. Well you need to know how much you would have on both sides if you were to separate or cut that in half. Well here's a pretty easy way of doing that. I'm going to pull the fraction out and I'm going to put it right here. 7 eighths. Okay. A real fast shop method of finding what half a measurement is is the top number is going to stay the same so that's going to slide over that's going to become a 7 the bottom number is going to double. So we're going to take 8, we're going to multiply that by 2, and we're going to slide that over here to 16. So that means each side here would then be 7 sixteenths of an inch. Okay. So this works for other measurements as well. If I have a bigger quantity than just a fraction, I want to find half of the measurement. We are doing that, let's say this number then, uh, let me grab a different color marker here. Let's change this number to, let's go three and uh, we'll go three and a half. Okay, so this is now three and a half. Okay, we're going to bring that down here so we can actually work on it. Three and a half. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to separate out my whole number and my fraction. So this is going to be my first step. My second step would be to give it legs. So this is my second step. Two here. I'm going to put a two there. Okay. Then I want to actually figure out and find out what half of that fraction is. So what's half of three? Well, if you take half of three dollars, that's going to end up being one and one half. Okay. Then we got this separated out over here, we can figure out what half of a half is. Well, if we use this rule up above, we can figure that out. That's really easy. The one's going to come down, the two is going to double to one fourth. Then all we need to do with these two items is combine them back together. Okay. So back over to what the objectives are. Now we are going to do some adding of fractions. Okay. So we're going to take these fractions together here. One and one half plus one fourth. Well, how do we add fractions together? First of all, we need the same common denominator. Okay, So if we look at our chart over here on the wall, we have quarters and halves. Well, how many quarters are in a half? If we look at that, we have two-fourths. So we need to actually convert this to two-fourths. Cross that out. So one and two-fourths plus one-fourth is going to equal out to one and three fourths. So that means each section here then is one and three fourths. Okay, so that's an example of how to find half of a measurement and also how to add a fraction together. Now we need to actually work on subtracting fractions. Okay, so we're going to give ourselves a measurement here. Let's say we had the same quantity, let's go three and a half and we wanted to cut a section off a of material, um, we're going to take off a, a little chunk here. Let's say we're going to cut off 1 and 3 eighths. Okay. And what does that equal to? Well, in business and in you know, construction, you need to be able to do this so you can figure out quantity left over of materials to make sure that you have enough for the next project. Well, one method of doing this is I'm going to pull the three and a half down. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to pull this one out. Okay, so what we have here, we're going to subtract one. So three and a half minus one okay, is going to end up being two and one half. Okay, so we got the easy section out of the way. Now we need to pull this three eighths down over here. We're going to subtract out three eighths. Okay, so how do we figure this out? Well. How many eighths are in two and a half? First of all, we need to switch that over to an improper fraction. So we have four eighths and a half. Cross these out. Two and four eighths minus three eighths. All we need to do then is subtract the top number. We end up with our answer, two and one eighth. There's our final answer, okay? So as you see, Finding half of a measurement, we did that up here with just a single fraction. Then finding half of a measurement, we did that with a whole number and a fraction and how we gave it legs. Step one, two, and then our third step would be to add that together to get our combination. And then over here, we did some subtracting of fractions where we take a whole number and a fraction, a whole number and a fraction, and we want to cut the material away and find out how much we got left over. Okay. All right. Good luck and happy measuring, folks.